mount and sit with me in reverence to the coming light. Farming has always been a part of me and I realize the importance of this project. That this project is vital, that it's critical that we educate our community on on farming and agriculture and how it played in our daily lives and how important it is to our daily lives, and how that way of life sustained our people for countless of generations. So by going back to our culture, going back to our old way of life, by reclaiming that, we're not only helping our bodies, we're helping our way of thinking, we're helping our way, we're, we're helping our people to become more sustainable giving the people the knowledge and understanding of what they're putting in their bodies, where their food comes from, how they're growing their food, where, where exactly is their food coming from, what is traditional and what is not. This farm plays a huge role in that, in educating our people and what they're eating. They say that the average Native American farmer is 54 years old. And that, that, that's a problem right there. Um, we really need to start fostering and mentoring young farmers. And I actually started uh, with the farm as a youth leader in the, far the farm camp. And so that one was, it was really nice. I got to work with kids within the community. And then this past year, I actually got to run the farm, the farm camp. And so that was a big step. But if you support them, if you nurture them, if you guide them, then they will start to grow a passion for it. And they will see the importance of it. And that's how I see the farm is nurturing and mentoring and fostering young Apache farmers. Like, um... When he started working out here at first, he said that he felt like it was embedded in us, you know, like our, like Gen X, just basically. We were, you know, people who farmed and worked, and he himself said he didn't really enjoy it at first, and then the more he did it, he felt like it was like um, therapy to him, you know, and maybe this is what it was for a lot of us back in the day. The young people that we do work with are different. Our young people see the importance of this. I really like it. It's cool because the kids come, you know, like the kids have a part of this is for the kids and to teach them how to live a healthy lifestyle, active, healthy lifestyle. So the community involvement is pretty, it's awesome just coming to work and knowing that we're helping the community try to better themselves, themselves. I, mean, I never thought much about food and how like, like it helps you, you know, like energy and it's like the food that like we're trying to grow here is somewhat like supposed to be a healthy diet you know so like really hits home to me because it's for like our elders who are like diabetic and i come from a family who's having that problem both sides of my family so it's really much bigger than just gardening for me <laughs> working here pulling weeds everything's for a purpose nothing's for like, we're not just doing it just to do it. Everything's for a cause. We're helping the plant. So I come to work motivated just for that fact alone. We've had such a relationship with the land that our mind, our word for mind and the word for earth are the same thing. It's the same word. So that explains the relationship that Apache people had with the land. The Farm and First Nations Development Institute, they have a long-standing relationship. I think the relationship started when the farm had first established. Um, so we've been going on for quite a number of years. Not only that, but assisted us in marketing. How do we market our produce? How, what kind of strategies can we use to market our produce? How do we get from point A to point B? Also, um, networking with us, um, providing grant funding for, for our projects. We received the Youth and Cultural Initiative grant and we received that to help oversee our farm camp. And the farm camp is open to uh, middle school age students and where they are, it's a week long camp of immersion with language, agriculture, and food preservation. They've even offered scholarships to our staff members to attend certain conferences. So they're very supportive in our efforts in making fresh food more accessible to the White Mountain Apache tribe. Um, our Harvest Festival um, attracts almost between five to 700 people. Um, it's a day of learning Apache foods. It's a day of, of learning about Apache food ways. And now, we have a far now our farmer's market runs every Friday and we bring no produce back. 
the farm hosts a series of workshops throughout the year, four or five workshops. It's anywhere from starting your own soils to um, preserving your food, how to cook with your food. This entire 24 acres will be growing with produce that, that we will reach that goal at one point. And by doing that, that will allow us to be sustainable. And the most rewarding uh, thing that happens on this farm is seeing the end results of our produce on a cooked in a dish on a, on a table.